Another day, another another version of the real World Cup, CNBC Stock World Cup, that is. We're having the mining giant take on one of the biggest tech venture capital firms in the world. This is BHP, of course, who is currently facing the spectre of slowing demand, meeting SoftBank. That it has to be said had been taking quite the significant beatdown over the course of the last few months or so, but the buybacks that they've been engaging in, even now as Masasan is potentially stepping away from the company, have seen it pick up a little bit over the course of the last few weeks. So, who is going to win? Who is going to give you the best total return over the next 12 months? Rob Luna from Shore Invest gives his take. SoftBank versus BHP. I'm going to stay away from BHP right now. I think the housing market is just starting to slow down. You're going to see the worst of that in the U.S. market, probably Q2 of next year. If you look at BHP tied hugely to iron prices, copper prices, the input into construction, that one's going to come down. I think BHP is probably something to set on the side. SoftBank, though, this is a stock. It's actually held up pretty well this year. If you take a look at the rest of the sector, how bad that's been hit. We saw them writing down, Ali, selling off some of Alibaba. They wrote off the FTX disaster. I think growth is going to be the place to be. Their investments in companies like TikTok. Investors are going to look more at that area over the next 12 months. I put my money on SoftBank. So Rob's putting his money on SoftBank, but interestingly there, he mentioned TikTok and TikTok might be in a little bit of trouble when it does come to the United States. But SoftBank is indeed the winner and we are filling out, as you can see behind me, this wall in terms of the winners. There are three more matches to go in the round of 16. Tune in, as always, tomorrow for the Stock World Cup action.